Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a password generator and manager using Python. First, let's import the required libraries. In this tutorial, we're going to use Tkinter to design the GUI. Now, let's create our main class. Next, in our init function, we can create our main window. I'm going to name my window self.main. We can use dot geometry to set the size of the window. Next, I'm also going to set this window to be unresizable and give it a title. Now we can run this and see how our window looks like. Next, let's create the widgets that we are going to use for our password generator. So the first widget that I will create is a frame. Within this frame, it will contain a few checkboxes as well as a few radio buttons for us to select some extra features or additional options for our password to be generated. On the second part would be the buttons to generate the password and to view the history. And finally, at the bottom, we will have a text box to show the output of our program. Here, I'm also going to create a few variables to be used within our check buttons and our radio buttons. These variables are integers. That's why I'm using tk.intvr, which is short for integer variable. A label frame functions like how a normal frame would, but with the additional setting of including text on top of the frame. The on value specified here is what the variable would equal to when the checkbox is marked or ticked or selected. The off value is what the variable will equal to when we uncheck or untick the checkboxes. And the variable just points the variable to that specific checkbox to get the variable or the status of the checkbox and update the value of the variable. Now let's move on to our second label frame which would include some radio buttons to select the size or the length of the password. Now we are going to set a default selected radio button so that even if the users don't select a radio button, one would be selected for them. Now, let's move on to creating our buttons and our text box. Next, let's move on to packing as well as the setting the placement of all our widgets. The variable or configuration anchor is used to set the location of the item or the widget that we want to draw on the left or the right or top or bottom by specifying the location in north, south, east or west and sections in between can be used as well. Here you can see that I actually place both the label frames beside each other within the same frame. This is why I like to create bigger frames to contain smaller frames, so that it is easier for us to manage the placement of the widgets. Now let's run this and see how our UI looks like. Sorry, before that we need to call our widgets function in our init function. Let's try to run that again and see how it looks like. Perfect. 
Now let's move on to creating our functions to generate the password and view our history. First, we need to check if our checkboxes were ticked or not. So we're going to get the value of the variable that we pointed to our checkboxes. Here, we are saying that if the uppercase checkbox is ticked or selected, we will get a random string of uppercase letters with a length size of 5. So this will return us 5 uppercase letters. Let's repeat this for all our other checkboxes. Take note that random actually returns a list instead of a string of characters. Now let's create our final password using what we have generated from above and combine it with some random lowercase letters. Since the maximum length size that I put for my generator was 16, I'm going to use 16 as the size for my lowercase random strings or random characters. Just in case I do not select any upper or special characters or numbers to be included, this won't return any issues. Here, we will use the size selected from our radio button to be the length of our password that we want. Now we can print this out in our text box. Now as I've said before, the random library returns a list instead of a string. So we're going to use dot join to form a string using the characters in our list. Since we are creating an option to view history, we need to store all our generated passwords somewhere. For this tutorial, we're just going to store it in a simple text file. We can easily do that in Python using the open library to create or open a file and using write to write to the file. Here, we are using open password. The password file will be a text file storing all our generated passwords. And A here stands for append mode. There are other modes with open such as R for read and W for write. But since we're adding new lines in and not deleting old lines, we're just going to use append. Now let's create our final function to view the history or to view the list of password that we have generated before. Now, before we want to print anything out, we want to clear our text box so that it looks clean. And we can do that by easily using delete. We use the index one, starting from the first line and deleting it until the end, which is the final line. And then we can print out our message. Here, I'm using the open function to open the password file in our read mode and using .read to read it before printing it out into our text box. Now we can go back into our buttons and call the functions in their command. I'm also going to add in a few lines to disable the text box when we are not printing anything out. Now we can test out and see how our app looks like. Here, as you can see, we can generate passwords according to our length selected. And since we don't have any options selected, all our passwords generated are in lowercase. Now, if we select any options here, you can see that our password generated includes what uh, what we have selected in our options such as special characters, numbers, and uppercase letters. Now, if we click on view history, 
we should be able to see all our generated passwords accordingly from the first line, second line to the third and finally the fourth. This means our password generator and manager is working perfectly. Here, in the directory of our Python script or Python file, we can also see this password text file generator. This is just a normal text file used to store our generated password. We can further encrypt this by encoding before writing into the file and decoding before reading it out. You can do that in your, but for now, this is what we're going to do. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helped. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.